So, um, this is going to be a test for YouTube. I wanted to see how YouTube would deal with like the, the text on screen and stuff like that. Um, Subjector is notorious for having really fucking hard to read text. So I'm going to record this. This is on my ultra wide. Um, I'm going to go find a nice battle to, to fight. As you can see, I'm like near the end of my playthrough on, on, this, on this run. Uh, I've been streaming a lot of this on Twitch. Uh, pretty much I'll just show you the run through of like what I have for ships. So I got the Elizabeth. I got the fucking Pandora. These are, this is the upgraded version of the Pandora. I got the Zeus, obviously. And, you know, like, I got a good, a good fucking fleet, but let's put it that way. Um, I will show you my map. So my map is massive. I'm using a Justice Sector. I will put the whole mod list in the, in the, like down in the description for you guys to have, whatever, if anybody even reads or watches this, sorry, not reads this. Um, in this playthrough, I colonized all of this. I am running both Terraform mods. Um, you could kind of make them work as long as you don't use one on top of the other and vice versa. Uh, or use like them in the same sector. So on this, this was a Nebula, obviously. And I went in and I actually colonized uh, I colonized it all. So there was a gas giant here and a gas giant here. With the DIY Terraforming mod, you can um, turn these into suns. So now there's suns and it turned a bunch of the worlds into water worlds, which is kind of nice. Like there's a bunch of them over here. Um... So obviously, like I have it all, I have it fully colonized. Um, and then I also colonized Penelope Star. Um, this was like after I started colonizing this. So I also have uh, I took over two worlds here. One was size like five, and one was size four when I got, or maybe it was six and five. And then up here, I did the same thing. So I have I have some decent like income coming. I think I'm making like two mil a month right now. Um, as you can see, I am running a metric fuck ton of mods. Uh, Yuri was in here, and I deleted them because of the f what they were doing to to the AI. Like they have some guns that you can't target their shells from like long range across the entire map. So let me go find a battle. That we, like this is the fleet; it shouldn't be fucking spawning. Um, where's this at? Uh, what is it? A binary star. It's probably this then. Okay, so we're going to do this real quick. We're going to grab this research station. Uh, is there... One second. Oh, I'm still fucking healing. For the sake of this, I'm just going to repair myself. I'll do this battle, and then I'll do uh, the other battle also. This battle won't take very long. Let's see, let's see. Uh, what do I want to bring in? What does this thing have on it? I cannot remember. Oh, yeah, it has that. Um... I'll bring this in. I'll just bring in a bunch of shit. I shouldn't even need this, but I'll just do it. Um, I'm going to transfer over to this. So this is the Zeus that I'm piloting right now. Um, I have two times, like, everything. Like, I have a lot of mods. Like I said, I'll link it. This thing is so slow. Oh, that fucking hurt that guy. I don't know how I like these lasers. I'm just testing them out, really. I think I just got deleted. I'm only at 27 FPS right now. Let me alt-tab and actually turn some shit off really quick. That. Okay, there we go. A little bit better FPS. 10 more, 10 more. Not too bad. I have three monitors, so I'm running. I was running some streams in the background. I don't know how I like these lasers, honestly. Probably take them off here.
What is this? Oh, okay. Pendulum. Nice, that's a Chinese mod. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing again. We're just gonna do repair. Um, let's just keep going. <clears throat> what, are you gonna fucking raid me? Two fleets? Oh, all right, cool. You're dead anyways. What am I at in FPS right now? 22 FPS. Yikes. <laughs> I think that I think that uh, thing said Baron World, if I remember correctly. So By the way, the reason I'm not getting I'm not getting uh, damage from the storms is I'm using an unofficial new game plus. And when you use specialist mode there's an option to like take off like damage from storms. Here, I'll just show you it really quickly. So if you go into the, right here, so pretty much you take negative rules, which they take less damage, and you can take positive rules. It's pretty much all it is, um, and you can repick. Man, that fucking faction is getting de demolished. I'm probably gonna remove it next run. Like every run that I've played with that faction, I can't remember the name of the faction honestly. Um, they literally just they can't survive. Like I don't understand it. I've also had to edit, uh, there's some editing in the, um, what was I going to say, uh, there's some editing for, into the Kingdom of Terra mod, I made them less aggressive and it's actually working out quite well, I'm probably going to do this, might do the same for Kingdom of Terra, uh, Kingdom of Terra I've been giving like an extra planet here and there, that way they can survive a little bit more, uh, I think it said Baron World, right? Volcanic, whoops. Uh, let's go to this one. I think there's a volcanic in here. Whoops. Volcanic, where am I at over here? Rocky Metallic, Baron. I think I've been in here already. So like I said, this is just me a test. I want to see how the scaling does for like 4K. I do stream this on a lot on Twitch, and like you can't read anything because I'm on playing on ultra wide. So I can test it out. Maybe I haven't been in here before. Interesting. Oh, there's a another volcanic world. That's the fleet. Alrighty then. Um, oh, I forgot to say, uh, uh, AI kind of have 60 ships. I, I adjusted that myself. Um, there's like a max limit of like, uh, what do I want to say the word is? I'm actually, I'm going to bring this thing in, I think. Um, there's a max of like 60 ships on AI and then I have, um, I'm gonna put defenses right there. Um, and then I have like a hundred plus for me just so I can do it. Just so I can like bring a big fleet because sometimes AI fleets are kind of a pain. Okay, turn it up, speed up a little bit, just go up. This should be a pretty decent battle. I just want to see how it looks overall. Also, you guys are going to see some ships in here, like this Arcadian ship. This is from a dead mod that I had brought back to life for my own personal use. So you're going to see some ships in here that uh, you probably haven't seen before, so don't be too alarmed by that. Oh, they're all going after him? Really? Why? Oh, they all are. Oh, he has a fucking Aprolite ship? What in the fuck? I want that. Give me that. I lost my last one. Kinda got destroyed a little bit. It's a pretty nice ship, honestly. It's all ballistic, if I remember correctly, or mostly ballistic. 
I wish this guy would get the fuck out of my way. So this ship I'm currently flying, um, it's actually pretty shitty. I edited the armor, I think it was 2500 armor I gave it, so pretty decent. It doesn't have a shield though, and it's fully ballistic. The weapons I am using on it are come from another mod that I've gotten access to. What is this thing? Okay then, how about we just... I'm probably gonna get fucked up here in a second. Oh, yep, that hurts a little bit. There goes the Blade Breaker ships. What is this thing? Diabolite? What the hell does that mean? I'm so confused. I don't know where it comes from, but I want it. I think it's, a, it's probably a special ship then. FPS is tanking. These ships are actually quite dangerous, these, uh, these alien ones. They have some pretty good lasers. I think, I, I'm pretty sure that they also disable uh, weapons too. so much shit going on. I actually really like these ships a lot. So it looks like the guy's falling back. I'm probably gonna have to come back and fight him again. I love this ship, uh, I put armor on it. It's so good. It needs better flux though, I think. I think it's dead. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's just do full assault. Oh. Like I said, this is like end game. Like, super end game. Um, and the reason why I have this much of a, like, uh, fleet right now is because there are some pretty rough bounties that come up like I'm not joking like even fighting some of like the immortal light fleets and stuff like that are really rough on me still because I don't really have a ballistic fleet so everything is uh everything is not like super super damagey like high-end damage like this ship is um it's mostly pretty decent like it's not like overpowering at all like I, I i like to build like efficient ships as you can see like this thing isn't high on flux this thing is nowhere near high on flux for the amount of shit it has on it um and you can see it, it can handle four to five ships at once and it's also pretty well balanced itself so Or, uh, Gundalum ships. I think that's how you pronounce a Gundalum. So as you can see, this ship has like 43,000 armor, or uh, hull, sorry. Um, you give it, you actually give it some decent armor, it actually stands a decent chance against a lot of these like high-tech ships that have beams and stuff. This is another Arc Arcadian ship. I haven't used it yet. I haven't, really given, I haven't been really been able to get my hands on one, to be quite honest with you. I 
I'm really hoping that this actually comes up pretty well. I do want to start doing some YouTube videos for this. Just gotta figure out what the hell I want to do with them. Crews are going up against me. That's a bad idea. You're dead. So like I think I think I probably gave it a little bit too much armor, but I mean honestly at the same time like it does have a metric fuck ton of hull. And uh I don't know. I feel like this actually plays pretty well with like the amount of armor that's on it. Maybe it's 3k armor, I can't remember. I'll lower it a little bit and test out some other like rules of it, but uh like I said, I specifically went in myself and tested it and gave it more armor. Cause like it comes with like a thousand armor and it has horrible shields and it has a horrible weapon system it just gives you accelerated ammo feeder which i mean is somewhat good but also like really bad to be quite honest with you um especially compared to like the fucking uh the fucking paragon which is right beside me like even the paragon itself uh, like that comes with 1500 armor and it comes with like a really good shields and really good flux it's kind of i don't know it's kind of interesting This ship does die, by the way, quite a bit. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I have a few of them. See, like, a, like that beam right there is just deleting me. Like, he just probably took off, like, 10k plus haul in a single shot. Oh, that weapon causes, uh... Interesting. It's dead, though. Oh, that thing, oh, I had something behind it. I was like, what, how did it die? <laughs> oh, it phases. Oh, this thing, fuck, I think this thing, no. I think it doesn't phase. There's another Arcadian ship. Oh, it has a mine base. Interesting. I kind of want this cruiser too. He's hiding from me. There are more in here. Nice, nice. So uh, this body has a good assortment of ships. It's interesting. Um, the, uh, on my stream, the last time I streamed this, I, I think I did like four or five hours of a stream. And I think over half that stream was two different battles, because there was, I think I did three or four battles that had over 200 plus ships, and I think two of them had 300 plus ships I had to fight. It was a lengthy process, but it's, it's, it's fun. It's different. This thing's still not dead. I thought it was dead. Probably gonna lose this ship, to be quite honest with you. That's fine with me, though. I think I'm actually going to lose this battle against this guy. Oh, I might not. Hey, I think I'm going to. I think that guy's going to kill me on the side. Oh, maybe not. Oh, oops. 
keep hitting the wrong thing. Uh, let's kill that, can you kill this, blah blah blah. Um, how about we not do that, how about you just come up here and help this. Oh, there's another phase ship from Zahn. God, it looks so good. Dude, I have like no hull left. That thing's gonna blow up. Yep. What in the fuck is that? Okay, so how about you kill this? Um, what is that? The Ragnarok class. I, I'm definitely gonna die to this thing. Um, what is that beam? the ship, oh well. Dude, the Paragon looks so good with the uh, Aperlite uh, lasers on it, oh my god. Dude, why does it just look like a big super tanker? Is that what it is? Just a massive, like, tanker? I think it's trying to get away. Got him at like 30,000 on the back. It's insane. It might actually get away. Nope, it didn't. We're good. Oh. Is there the fighter glitch? Or is there another, there's another ship, isn't there? It's down here, isn't it? Whoops. That was already on. Here, we'll just do it this way. Oh, whoops. Do it like this. Uh, so what did they get away with? Oh, I lost that ship? Really? He died? Oh my god, how did you die? I wanted this thing. What is this thing from? XLU. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Makes more sense now. Uh, I'll bring this in. Let's bring you guys. Like I said, I have a metric fuck ton of ships here um, that I can use. Um, so let's do you here. Let's do you here. Let's do a defend right here. Um, let's do a you here. There we go. That's fine. Don't know how long I've been recording for, it's probably definitely over like 15-20 minutes.
But it'd be a nice little test to see how it holds out. So let's see. Oh, whoops. I'm on the wrong one. This thing is slower than shit. I almost like the Ruby, or not the Ruby, the uh, Pandora better, honestly. Like, I I like this ship, but it's just way too slow. I could put auxiliary thrusters on it, maybe. I don't know. So this thing is XLU, huh? What, is it a, like a special ship? I don't know. So the nice thing is I put rubies on this ship, which are like super long range suppression, and they cost like 14, or 12 points or 14 points or something like that. And they uh, they hit a punch at, even at long range, they only do like 100 damage or something like that, but like, you have four of them fucking firing at once, it's it's a lot. I love those. I'll show you guys a little clip on them before I end this video. Probably like, probably one of my most favorite weapon systems I found in this game. Just because of the fact they have 1500 range, and they they give uh, their energy too, their energy projectile, um, and they give uh, what was I, what was I gonna say? They they give face ships such a hard time. I think everything is dead now. See, look at this. I gotta keep. He's gotta stay phased now because he's like within my, within my uh, area to attack. Now he's a little bit further out of it, but still. See, so as you can see, those Aberlay fighters are actually pretty decent. They're like a fighter and a bomber mixed together. It's interesting. Um, apparently those guys need help. Maybe one, I think, yep. What all got away? This. I got back what I wanted. I'll take this some of this stuff though. Um, yeah, I'll show you the Ruby system real quick before I get to this before I forget about it. It's just one of my favorite things I've found in the game so far. Um, decent. Uh, so fleet going to here. Oh, whoops, sorry, refit. These right here. Yeah, 14 points. Large suppression. Oh, they're so good. Yeah, they're 120 damage. It's not bad, not bad. Alright, let's end this video though. Um yeah. Hopefully this works out too well or works out quite well. I'll see you guys later.